Looking for a great gadget? Our selection of the latest gadget reviews will help you find the ideal drones, GPS devices, toys and more. Also the latest reviews on laptop, mobile phone reviews, tablets, cameras and other gadgets reviews. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Review The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is a highly accomplished Android tablet. It's great for media and almost as good for productivity. It's expensive but still cheaper than its main rival, the iPad Pro. However, it's also not quite as good as Apple's Pro range. No pressure or anything, but the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 carries the weight of the entire Android tablet market on its sleek metallic shoulders. Or at least, that sector of the tablet market that aspires to more than being thrown onto the back seat for the kids to chew on. Thanks to Apple's complete dominance of the tablet market, and the iPad Pro's creation and mastery of a new super tablet tier, few rival manufacturers dare stick their heads above the premium tablet parapet. Samsung is a notable exception, having consistently turned out svelte and well-specced Pro tablets. Even Samsung appeared to balk in the face of Apple's onslaught when it led with the mid-range Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e earlier in 2019. But the arrival of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 gives us the Android tablet champion we've been craving. The good news is that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is without a doubt the finest Android tablet money can buy. The question that remains to be answered is whether the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is good enough to merit serious consideration alongside the iPad Pro. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 has been available since late August 2019, with prices starting from $649.99 for the base 6GB RAM, 128GB storage Wi-Fi model. Add LTE to that configuration, or up the Wi-Fi model to 256GB of storage and 8GB of RAM, and it will cost you $729.99. The very top Tab S6 model is the 8GB RAM, 256GB storage LTE model, which costs £759 in the UK, this is undoubtedly pricey by Android tablet standards. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 has a lot going for it, but its main point of differentiation next to the iPad Pro is the inclusion of the S Pen stylus. It's even built into the design of the device this time around, slotting into a magnetized area just below the main camera module. The Tab S6 recharges its S Pen when it's locked in place, with a complete refill from empty taking 90 minutes. While it's undoubtedly cool that you can stash the S Pen in this way, it's not particularly secure. We found it extremely easy to nudge the stylus out of its housing, and you will almost certainly find yourself rooting around the bottom of whatever bag you carry it around in. There's a very good reason that both of the official Galaxy Tab S6 cases encompass the S Pen. One of these is pretty much essential if you plan to travel with this tablet. Samsung is an expert at stylus technology, having been running the Samsung Galaxy Note family of phablets for a number of years now. The 10.5-inch Galaxy Tab S6 display makes for a wonderful canvas for this versatile tool. In fact, we'd go so far as to say that the S Pen makes even more sense here than in the aforementioned Note series. With this nicely proportioned S Pen close to hand, the Galaxy Tab S6's luxurious screen practically invites you to indulge in sketches and other artistic works. That's something that's encouraged by the optional Pen Up app, which offers guided drawings and intuitive tools to help you get scrolling. It's far from the most comprehensive drawing tool out there, and dedicated digital artists will want to install their own third-party alternative more or less immediately. But for casual doodling, it's not a bad way to get started. Whether you're scribbling notes, cutting out screenshot sections for notations, or flat-out drawing, the S Pen is a finely balanced all-round tool. It has just the right level of resistance and precision in its rubber nib to make any task achievable, and dependent on skill and a steady hand rather than technical limitations. It's not quite Apple Pencil quality, but then we darned well hope not given how much you have to pay for Apple's own tablet stylus. The S Pen is all part of the package, and it's very good at what it does. There are also cool software tricks here like Smart Select, which lets you cut out a portion of the screen and have the contents transcribed for you. The main addition to the S Pen this time around is something called Air Actions, which are essentially gestural commands activated by waving the S Pen around in the air. It's an interesting idea, but we're far from convinced. Being able to assign an app to open when you hold down the S Pen button, the camera app by default, is all well and good. 
we also appreciated the ability to customize what a single press and a double press of the button will do in individual apps, though this largely applies to Samsung's own apps. But the motion-based gestures seem a little fiddly and of limited value. We can kind of see the appeal of using these gestures as a remote control when watching a film on the tablet, pressing the button and gesturing up to turn the volume up, for example. But will you ever be that far away from the Galaxy Tab S6 that this will be preferable over using the physical volume key? We have our doubts. Rotation-based gestures, meanwhile, seem hit and miss. Even if there was the practical case for remotely zooming in the camera this way, the flaky execution ensures that you'd never think to do it after an initial try. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 won't win any awards for originality on the design front, but that doesn't prevent it from being a handsome bit of kit. It doesn't quite have the angular, muscular appeal of an iPad Pro 11, but it's in the same all-metal ballpark. If anything the Tab S6's softer edges, thinner body, though we're only talking 5.7mm versus 5.9mm, significantly lighter frame, 420 grams versus 468 grams, and longer aspect ratio make it feel quite a bit svelter than its Apple rival. The Tab S6's design is certainly a considerable improvement over its lineal predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. We're not sad to see the back of the latter's fragile and slippery glass rear. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the Galaxy Tab S6 shares a lot more with the mid-range Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e that launched a few months earlier. The main difference is the more premium model's lozenge-shaped dual-camera module and the S Pen slot that runs down immediately below it. This latter feature might have a clear function, but it also serves as the tablet's one distinguishing mark. Flip around onto the edge nearest that slot and you'll find the Galaxy Tab S6's power and volume buttons, as well as the SIM tray on the LTE model. The opposite edge contains the connector for the optional keyboard cover. Samsung has installed 4 AKG tuned speakers, two on both of the narrow edges, while the bottom edge judged from the orientation of the Samsung logo also contains the USB-C port. There is no 3.5mm headphone jack, which is a crying shame in any pro-level tablet. If the Galaxy Tab S6's design is quietly impressive, then its display makes no attempt to underplay things. We're looking at a 10.5-inch Super AMO LED display with a 1600 by 2560 resolution for 287 pixels per inch. It's the Super AMO LED bit that's really noteworthy here. We might have seen it in both the Galaxy Tab S4 and the Galaxy Tab S5e, but it still feels like a novelty in a tablet. All the usual strengths and weaknesses of this panel technology are present and accounted for. This is a vibrant display with excellent contrast, including HDR10 Plus certification and deep, inky blacks. It really is quite beautiful, and those vibrant colors lift everything from video content to digital paintings. Is it flat out better than the iPad Pro screen? We wouldn't say so for two reasons, it lacks the super responsive 120Hz variable refresh rate of Apple's tablet, and it doesn't get as bright. In particular, it tends to wash out more in strong lighting. Both displays have their perks as well as their quirks. The Galaxy Tab S6 displays wider 16-10 aspect ratio offers a little of both. On the one hand it fits movie content a little more snugly than the iPad Pro. Conversely, it makes portrait usage feel a tad more cramped and awkward than with the 4-3 iPad. Another trick of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6's display is a fingerprint sensor stashed underneath, right near the USB-C slot. This means that you don't need to rely on the insecure facial recognition system or the annoying passcode entry system. This in-display sensor works reasonably well in our experience, though it still feels slower and more laborious than dedicated fingerprint sensors. That's partly because you have to power the screen on to activate it, and partly because it just seems to be a beat slower. The failure rate also seemed higher to us. Samsung has gone with a smaller battery for the Galaxy Tab S6 than it did with the Galaxy Tab S4, just 7,040 mAh versus 7,300 mAh. But this is still very large, and indeed is the same size as the Galaxy Tab S5e's battery. Add in the benefits of the efficient Snapdragon 855 chipset, and there seems to be no reason to worry. This is proven by our regular battery test, which involves running a 90-minute looped video with the screen brightness turned up to full. With the Galaxy Tab S4 this task ate 12% of a full charge. With the Galaxy Tab S6, it sapped just 9%. Samsung has estimated that the Galaxy Tab S6 is good for 14 hours of usage. 
in our experience it will comfortably stand up to a pretty intensive day, and it's certainly competitive with the iPad Pro 11 2018. The Tab S6 also supports fast battery charging, though the fact that it only ships with a 15W charger, not the 25W unit that ships with the Galaxy S10 5G smartphone, is a minor disappointment. The iPad Pro 11 ships with an 18W charger, by way of a comparison. A dual camera might not sound like a particularly noteworthy feature in a world where we're seeing quad-camera smartphones. But the Galaxy Tab S6 is the first Samsung tablet to feature a multi-camera setup. That entails a 13 MP f2.0 main sensor paired with a 5 megapixel f2.2 ultra-wide backup. That would be pretty unremarkable sounding in a mid-range smartphone, but it's fairly advanced for a tablet, where photography really isn't a priority. The secondary camera, in particular, opens up the possibility of some interesting wide-angle shots, as well as enabling exaggerated bokeh portrait snaps. What sounds reasonably decent on paper turns out to be just so in practice. The shots we obtained were perfectly fine, in a mid-range phone kind of way. Some of the colors did seem to be artificially ramped up to our eyes, but then Samsung is a sucker for punchy colors. Overall, Samsung's fine camera software bolsters things significantly, with Auto HDR evening out the extremes nicely on any bright landscape shots. The company has also brought its night mode across from its top-end smartphones, so you'll be able to take usable shots in extremely dark conditions. You'll need to hold the tablet still for several seconds in order to do this, and you'd better ensure that your subject is similarly stationary. But the results are pretty decent all things considered. There's an 8MP camera around front, though we suspect this will be used mostly for video calls. Or at least, we'd hope so. If there's one thing more ridiculous than someone using their tablet for a camera it's someone using their tablet for a selfie. The Galaxy Tab S6 runs Android 9.0 Pi with Samsung's One UI layered on top. This custom UI still isn't to our personal taste, lacking as it does the sense of refinement of stock Android or the more discerning efforts of OnePlus and Motorola. It's well short of Apple's iPad OS in form and, for the most part, function. However, it is the cleanest and least fiddled with software that Samsung has produced in quite some time. It's also easy to navigate and appreciably snappy. Whether that latter point remains true over the long haul will take a good few months and even years to find out. Samsung doesn't have the best record when it comes to keeping its software up to date and feeling snappy over time. The basics of Android 9.0 Pi are all here, from the home screen to the drop-down notifications menu and the app tray. They just all look a little softer and less stylish. Scrolling to the left of the home screen gives you Samsung's own take-a-look screen. This gives you news updates, instant games, GIFs, Galaxy Store, Samsung's own App Store, recommendations, schedule information and the like. It's similar to what both Google and Apple provide in their own left-of-home screen provisions, but again, not as sharp nor appealing. Samsung continues to provide a lot of its own apps as standard, though mercifully, you can opt out of a bunch of them. In the case of the Samsung Internet Browser and Microsoft Outlook, you'd be looking at duplicates of what's already provided by Google. The same goes for Gallery, which isn't even optional, so it doubles up with the vastly superior Google Photos as standard. Samsung also continues to lay on its Dex service, accessed from the notification menu, which gives you a light desktop experience on the Galaxy Tab S6 or an external monitor. You can even connect a wireless keyboard and mouse for the full effect. We were unable to fully test this feature, as neither the necessary keyboard cover nor a cable were provided with our S6 unit. Hooking up a Bluetooth mouse, however, we were able to skim through the DeX interface, and everything seemed to be very smooth and usable running on the S6's capable hardware. The main point of DeX is to enable easier multitasking, with multiple windows and apps coexisting on the screen. Anyone who's used Windows 10 or Mac OS, so pretty much everyone, will be able to grasp the essential benefits here. You're enough, we were able to do things like set a Netflix video running, search for a file, create a Dropbox folder, and bring up a web page in Chrome all at the same time on a single screen with overlapping windows. And all the while, the Tab S6 barely seemed to break a sweat. That said, it's worth noting that for the price of the Galaxy Tab S6 you can buy yourself a decent mid-range laptop running full fat Windows 10. If you're really after a portable productivity machine, that would still seem to be a better bet. But in our limited testing, DeX on the S6 at least feels like a viable option for occasional bouts of advanced productivity. There's no questioning the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6's media chops. 
It excels in more or less every department, and is undoubtedly the very best all-round Android media player out there. On the visual front, that 10.5-inch Super AMOLED display shows off movies beautifully. The vivid colors and deep shady areas of Blade Runner 2049 look exquisite here. That's enhanced by superb sound output from the tablet's 4 AKG tuned speakers. There's a surprising level of range to this audio profile given how skinny the Galaxy Tab S6's body is. By positioning the speakers at the four corners, it's very rare that you'll find yourself covering any of them. Even when you do, such as when gaming, there's always a couple free. It's a good job that the speakers are so good, as you won't be able to use your wired headphones with the Galaxy Tab S6. Look, we know that wireless headphones are the future, and increasingly even the present. But removing the option of a physical connection on a large pro-level device such as this seems just as silly as it did with the iPad Pro. Switching to games, and we're back on positive ground. No, the display doesn't have a particularly fast refresh rate. But it looks great, and the Galaxy Tab S6's Snapdragon 855 is pretty much the fastest Android chip on the market. This thing soars. Samsung also provides its own game launcher app, which automatically pulls your installed games into it and tracks your gaming time. You can also link your Discord account to see what your buddies are playing. We should point out that Game Launcher decided to deposit two app icons onto our home screen, which seems like a very Samsung thing to do. When it comes to storing your media files, you're well covered. You get 128GB of storage in the base model, and 256GB in the top model. Add to that a micro SD slot that can take up to 1TB of expansion, and the Galaxy Tab S6 has you well and truly covered. You won't find a faster Android tablet on the market than the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 at the time of watching. That's courtesy of the cutting-edge Snapdragon 855, which is the chip that powers flagship phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is backed by either 6GB or 8GB of RAM, depending on the model you choose. It's a shame this isn't a uniform amount, but it doesn't make a great deal of difference given the headroom that you get here. We tested the lower 6GB model and it performed admirably. As we've noted elsewhere, we found ourselves able to run multiple windows simultaneously in DeX mode, including a Netflix video and three or four other apps. The Galaxy Tab S6 didn't so much as pause for thought. Split-screen multitasking in regular mode is also fast and fluid. By dragging in from the right of the screen you can pop apps to either side of the screen, and then add a third on top, and we never noted any performance hitches when we did this. Games, too, run on max settings. In PUBG we were able to bump the settings right up to Extreme HDR, which is currently as high as it goes, with no discernible drop in performance. The graphically advanced Elder Scrolls, Blades runs like a dream, too. This is all unsurprising when you check out the Geekbench 4 benchmark results. An average multi-core score of 10741 is very strong for an Android device, though we should probably note that it falls well short of the iPad Pro 11 2018, 18104, and even the more modest iPad Air 2019, 11575. It's well ahead of the Android tablet crowd though. The Huawei MediaPad M5 Pro, for example, could only manage 6540.